Some of you sitting here today are carrying burdens nobody can see. You're smiling on the outside, but inside you feel exhausted, overwhelmed, and broken. Some days you feel like you can't take it anymore. Life seems to be one storm after another. And you wonder, when will this end? Why is this happening to me? I understand. I truly do. I know life can feel unfair. But I want to remind you of something very important today. This season of hardship will not last forever. God sees your struggle. He knows what you've been through. And I want to tell you, help is on the way. God's Word says, in Psalm 35, Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. I need you to hear this deep in your soul. Hard times, sadness, and struggle are temporary. The storm you're going through is not here to stay. It will pass. Just like the night cannot stop the sun from rising, your trouble has an expiration date. The dawn is coming, my friend. You may feel like life has dealt you a bad hand, like every door you knock on stays shut, and the weight on your shoulders is getting heavier by the day. But let me encourage you. God never wastes a hardship. Every tear you've cried, every lonely night, every disappointment, He sees it all, and He's working behind the scenes. Even when it doesn't feel like it, God is doing something powerful in your life, even when you don't understand it right now. You may be asking, Pastor, if God is working, why do I still feel so stuck? Well, let me tell you something about God. He works in seasons. Just like there is a time for planting and a time for harvest, there is a time for hardship and there is a time for breakthrough. You are not stuck forever. This season you are in right now is just that, a season. It is not your destination. And the same God who brought you into this season will be the same God who brings you out. Some of you need to hear this loud and clear. Your story is not over. God hasn't forgotten you. He hasn't abandoned you and what you're going through right now. It's temporary. Better days are ahead. Hold on and you will see God's promises come to pass. Now, I know you might be wondering, what could God possibly be doing with all this pain, all this difficulty? It's a fair question. Sometimes, when life feels overwhelming, it's hard to imagine anything good coming out of the storm. But let me remind you that God never wastes a tear. He never wastes a trial. And He certainly never wastes a hardship. Here's what I want you to grasp today. God is using your season of hardship to refine you, to strengthen you, and to draw you closer to Him. You see? It's often in the hardest seasons of life that we truly discover who we are and who God is. We grow the most, not when everything is going right, but when we have to lean on God just to make it through the day. Romans 5.3, 4 says this, We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. Did you catch that? Hardship develops endurance, and endurance leads to strength of character. That means God is building something strong and unshakable in you right now. You may feel weak, but God is using this season to make you stronger than you've ever been. He's teaching you how to stand firm in your faith, how to trust Him more deeply, how to walk with Him, more closely. And here's the beautiful thing, Church. This process of growth doesn't just end when the hardship ends. No, the strength, the faith, and the endurance you're gaining in this season will carry you forward for the rest of your life. God is preparing you for something greater. You might not see it yet, but there is a purpose for your pain. And when you come out of this storm, you'll be able to look back and see that God was with you every step of the way, 
working everything for your good. Some of you are wondering, why hasn't God moved yet? Listen to me carefully. God is not slow in keeping His promises. He's not late. He's never in a rush, but He's never late either. What feels like a delay to you is actually God's perfect timing. He's getting everything in place. He's aligning everything for your breakthrough. And most importantly, He's getting you ready for what He's about to release into your life. Let me say this. If you're in a season of waiting, it means God is preparing something incredible for you. You wouldn't have to wait if it wasn't worth it. The bigger the blessing, the greater the preparation. God knows what He's doing. He knows when the right time is. And when it comes, it's going to be more than you ever imagined. I want you to think about this. If God gave you everything you're asking for right now, would you be ready to handle it? Would you have the faith, the wisdom, and the maturity to steward it? Well, sometimes the waiting is not about God holding back from you. It's about Him making sure you're ready for the blessing. He loves you too much to give you something that will overwhelm you. You see, church, God is not only interested in your comfort, He's interested in your character. He's not just interested in giving you blessings. He wants you to have the strength to carry them. That's why you're walking through this season of hardship. He's refining you, purifying your heart, and shaping you into the person who can handle the next level of His favor. I know it's hard to believe this in the middle of the storm, but your hardship is actually making room for God's blessing. Every tear you've cried, every moment you've felt like giving up, God is using it all to create space for His promises to be fulfilled in your life. The more you endure, the greater your capacity to receive. And church, I need you to hear me loud and clear today. The enemy knows how close you are to your breakthrough. He's not attacking you because of your past. He's attacking you because of your future. He knows what God is about to release into your life. And he's trying to wear you down before you can step into it. But don't let him win. Don't let him win. Don't let the weight of this season break your spirit. Your fight is not just about today. It's about tomorrow. It's about the blessings, the favor, the opportunities, and the impact that God has waiting for you. And I promise you, when the breakthrough comes, you'll look back and thank God for every moment you held on. You'll see that He was working all things together for your good, even in the hardest moments. So here's my encouragement for you today. Don't give up now. Don't stop pressing in. Don't stop praying, even when it feels like nothing is changing. God is closer than you think, and your breakthrough is just around the corner. You might be in the valley today, but the mountaintop is in sight. You might feel like you're at the end of your rope, but God's strength is about to carry you through. My friends, some of you have been waiting for a long time for things to get better for healing to come for that opportunity, for peace to fill your heart again. And you're tired. You've prayed. You've tried. You've pushed forward when it felt like everything inside you was screaming to give up. But listen to me. God sees your faithfulness. God sees every time you held on when it would have been easier to let go. And I promise you, God rewards faithfulness. Maybe the answer hasn't come yet, but it will. God has not forgotten about you. And I know that, because our God is a God of promises, and He keeps every single one. I know it feels like the waiting is stretching you thin, but God says in Isaiah 40, 30, 1. But those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Listen to that, church. If you wait on God, you will get new strength. 
This means you won't run out of what you need to make it through this season. I know it feels like you're running on fumes right now. Like your heart can't take much more. But God will renew you. He'll give you the grace to take one more step, even when you think you have nothing left. There's something about waiting on God that changes us. Waiting teaches us to lean on Him more than we lean on our own strength. It strips away the things we thought we needed and shows us that God is truly enough. And church, that's where breakthrough begins. When we stop relying on ourselves and say, God, I can't do this alone. I need you. If you're in a tough season right now, let me remind you, God hasn't left you for a moment. He's been walking with you through every step of this journey, even when you didn't feel Him, even when it felt like your prayers were bouncing off the ceiling. He was there all along. And not only is He walking with you, but He's also working for you. God is arranging things in your favor right now. Doors are about to open, connections are being aligned, and the help you need is on its way. You might not see it yet, but God's plan is unfolding. Piece by piece, in His perfect timing, don't let what you see now discourage you from what God has promised is coming. I know it's hard to trust when life doesn't make sense. I know it's hard to believe when nothing seems to be changing. But church, faith isn't about what we see. It's about what we believe. And we believe that God is good. We believe that He's faithful. We believe that He never breaks a promise. Remember what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4, 17. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Did you catch that? Paul calls our troubles light and momentary. Now, I know it doesn't feel light when you're in the middle of it. It feels heavy. But what Paul is saying is this. The glory that's coming, the blessing, the breakthrough, the joy on the other side will be so great that it will make these troubles seem small in comparison. I want you to get that deep into your heart today. This hardship will pass. It will not break you. It will not define you. It will not be the final chapter of your story. Your story isn't over. This is just one page, one season. And God is already writing the next chapter. A chapter full of hope, restoration, and joy. But here's the key. Don't quit before the breakthrough comes. I know it's tempting. I know it's hard to hold on when you're tired. But God is saying to you today, stay with me. Keep trusting. Keep believing. I'm about to do something you've never imagined. You may be in a season of hardship now, but a season of harvest is coming. Joy is coming. Healing is coming. Peace is coming. And when God moves, it will be worth every tear, every sleepless night, and every battle you fought. So, here's what I want you to do. Church, don't stop praying. Don't stop hoping. Don't stop believing. You are closer to your breakthrough than you think. God's promises are true, and the storm is almost over. My dear friends, as we come to the final part of this message, I want to speak directly to your heart. Some of you are barely holding on. Life has hit you harder than you ever expected. And maybe you're thinking, Pastor, I hear what you're saying, but I don't know if I have anything left to give. I'm tired. Let me tell you, God knows you're tired. He knows how long you've been fighting. He knows how many nights you've cried in silence. And He hasn't turned a blind eye to your pain. In fact, it's in your weakest moments that God's strength shows up the strongest. You don't have to carry this burden on your own. God's got you. I want to encourage you today with this truth. Even when you feel like you're at the end of your strength, 
God's strength is just beginning. He steps in right where we can't go any further. You're not supposed to do this alone. Lean on Him. When you feel like you can't take another step, lean into God because His grace will sustain you. 2 Corinthians 12.9 says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. What does this mean? It means that it's okay to feel weak. It's okay to not have all the answers. God never asked you to have everything figured out. He only asks you to trust Him. He wants you to know that when you're weak, He is strong. That means when you reach the end of yourself, that's when God's power shows up in ways you can't even imagine. Some of you need to hear this today. God's grace is enough for you. It's enough for the mistakes you've made, the battles you've fought, and the pain you've carried. It's enough for every tear, every doubt, and every moment you felt like giving up. God's grace will carry you through this season. Friends, if you've been feeling tired and worn out, I need you to listen closely. You don't need to have everything together to keep moving forward. Sometimes faith doesn't look like a bold leap. It looks like a quiet, shaky step. Sometimes it's just saying, God, I don't understand, but I trust you. That's enough. God doesn't need you to be perfect. He just needs you to stay in the fight. Listen carefully. Your pain is not pointless. What you are going through right now is part of a bigger story. God is using your hardship to develop something powerful inside of you. And one day, when you step into the season of blessing He has prepared for you, you will see that your struggle wasn't in vain. It was part of your purpose. You see, God uses everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly for His glory. There will come a day when you'll look back and say, I didn't understand it then. But now I see that God was working all along. The same battle that's exhausting you today will be the testimony you tell tomorrow. Your pain will become your platform. The things that tried to break you will become the things God uses to bless others through you. When you step into your breakthrough, you won't just be blessed. You'll carry wisdom, strength, and compassion for others going through what you've endured. That's the beauty of God's work in us. He turns pain into purpose and tests into testimonies. I love what it says in Habakkuk 2, 3. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. What God has promised will happen. It may feel like it's taking longer than you expected, but God's timing is always perfect. Don't lose hope just because things aren't moving as fast as you want them to. God is never late. Your joy is coming. I want to end with this church. Joy is coming. The same God who carried you through the storm will be the same God who fills your heart with joy on the other side. You will laugh again. You will dance again. You will feel peace again. The weight you're carrying will lift and joy will flood your soul. Psalm 126.5 6 says, those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying their sheaves with them. What this means is that every tear you've cried has been like a seed planted in the ground. And just like a farmer plants seeds and waits for a harvest, your harvest of joy is coming. God has seen every tear and He's about to turn your sorrow into celebration. When that day comes, and it will come, you will look back at this season and say, God, I didn't understand it then. But thank you for carrying me through. Joy will return, 
and it will be greater than you ever imagine. Beloved friends, hear me today. You are almost there. The season of hardship is coming to an end. The night is almost over, and morning is on the horizon. God has not forgotten you. Your breakthrough is closer than you think. Whatever you're carrying today, lay it at God's feet. Let Him take the weight. You are not alone, and you are not forgotten. The same God who brought you through the past will bring you through this. Trust Him, lean on Him, and hold on just a little longer. Now, let us conclude this message with prayer. Heavenly, Father, thank You for reminding us that our season of hardship will come to an end. We lift up those who are struggling, those in need of miracles in their lives, whether it be healing in their bodies, restoration in their relationships, or breakthroughs in their finances. Lord, we ask for your divine intervention. Bring healing to every wounded heart and body, and restore what has been lost. Pour out your blessings upon our finances, opening doors of opportunity and abundance. We believe in your power to transform our situations and to bring joy where there has been sorrow. Strengthen our faith as we wait for your promises to unfold. Thank you for the miracles that are on the way. We trust in your goodness and faithfulness, knowing that you are always working for our good. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.